from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. The last couple of months have certainly been colder than normal, but the last six days have featured highs in the 50s here in Evansville, and that's a nice change of pace. Two sunny days in a row will make it three tomorrow with the possibility of at least three more days with highs in the 50s before that comes crashing down at least for a while on Friday. But highs today generally 50 to 55. Lagodi was just a little cooler at 49, and tomorrow will be just a little bit cooler with highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Live first warning Doppler is all clear. That will be the case until around daybreak on Thursday. That's when the next storm system arrives, and that one looks like mainly a rainmaker. A King Sky Cam from downtown Owensboro off the top of the Hampton Inn looking down on Smothers Park on a nice quiet evening under clear skies. There's a live view off the top of Fifth Third Bank. Our Thule Injury Law Sky Cam looking down on the Evansville Riverfront. Temperature up at the airport on the northeast side is at 36 right now. The wind isn't doing much tonight. Matter of fact, it has gone calm with temperatures pretty much in the low to mid 30s area wide. Now, Owensboro is a little warmer at 41. Calhoun's at 38. We're going to wind up somewhere in the upper 20s by daybreak tomorrow morning, which is right on the average for this time of the year, at least in terms of the low temperatures. But our highs will still be a little warmer than normal. And speaking of highs, high pressure up in the western Great Lakes is settling slowly to the southeast, and that's going to hold off all the significant moisture here for at least another day. We may pick up a few high, thin clouds, but that will be about it. It's fairly quiet right now, but that's going to change pretty dramatically later in the week, especially for the east coast. We'll be on the edge of that big system. So skies are clear now. Future Tracker keeps it that way overnight. And then another mostly sunny day tomorrow and still warmer than normal. Upper 40s to lower 50s for highs tomorrow afternoon. And then the clouds begin to move in later tomorrow night, about 30 degrees around daybreak on Wednesday, which will feature a gradual increase in the cloud cover, but still another nice day. It will be a little warmer with highs in the low, maybe even mid-50s, depending on how quickly these thicker clouds move in during the afternoon. But a nice day to take advantage of, and no problems for Wednesday evening as the clouds continue to increase. But by daybreak Thursday morning, the scattered rain is beginning to come up from the south, and that rain is going to gradually increase in a scattered fashion throughout the day. It won't be as heavy as the event last Friday and Saturday, but a significant chance for rain, especially in the afternoon. This is 3 p.m., and then by 6 p.m., we got a band of rain setting up along and west of Highway 41. But at the same time, strong area of low pressure is going to be intensifying to our east. And depending on where it sets up, we could see all this end as a little wintry mix, probably during the morning hours on Friday. And it could even be the pre-dawn hours depending on how far east the system goes. But as it gets stronger and stronger, it's going to create some pretty strong winds here in the tri-state on Friday, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour as much colder air begins to move in uh, during the day on Friday. But clear skies overnight will settle into the upper 20s, and then mostly sunny skies again tomorrow, a nice cool high right around 50 degrees, becoming partly cloudy tomorrow night. And those clouds gradually increase on Wednesday, 54 for the high. Scattered rain moving in around daybreak on Thursday will gradually increase throughout the day, but still on the comfortably cool side, 52. Heaviest rain probably late Thursday, and then ending Friday. And the latest guidance actually ends much of it during the pre-dawn hours, maybe as a little wintry mix. I think the wind will be the big story on Friday with mostly cloudy skies. Guys, and an early high of 43 falling temperatures. But we get the system out of here in time for a nice quiet weekend, a mix of sun and clouds, a breezy 45 on Saturday, partly cloudy Sunday, 42 Christmas Eve, sunshine giving way to increasing clouds later in the day, and a high again of 42 Christmas Day. We could see a relatively weak system impact us. And right now, though, if we do see it, it looks like mainly a rain event. So our chances for white Christmas look fairly slim. They're not zero because we have a system coming through on uh, Christmas, but at least right now it doesn't look cold enough for snow, but that's still seven days away. Yeah, all right. We'll so a little bit of All right. Thanks a lot, Wayne.